Okay, in this lesson, we want to talk about bone uh, physics. We have a layer here that we have a lots of point for creating bending on that. This is our layer for creating bone for that. Make it a group. We can refer to the previous lesson, convert it to bone. And we want to go into the layer and set the origin here to organize it better. Uh, we want to add a physics to that because it's uh, add to the bone make sure for editing your bone or sitting <clears throat> we are in a zero of the timeline for creating bone we simply sketch a bone and before sketching you can uh, change the settings for bone lengths you can for example make it smaller hmm. a little smaller that's nice for our bone <clears throat> and this is our bone and you can come to transfer and make it a little bigger yeah that's nice as you can see if uh, i play we have a nice bone here bone dynamic what happened here <clears throat> the bone dynamic is looking it does not looking the object it's looking it's their strengths for physics it looks the strength this area for physics Going to the end, zero, and here we have another tool, bone physics. It's, uh, this bone strength is for <clears throat> affecting the object below the, uh, the object that is connected to that. But this tool is for changing the strength of the bone physics. You can click and drag to change it. For example, for example, here, select it here. Reduce the number of the range of the physics and see what happened. Boom. As you can see, I make it here. As you can see, this cause, this area is affected by this area of the physics. So the physics just understand this area and it's go in object, okay? You, so you have to uh, change the uh, number of the physics strings carefully that fit the objects. Nice. Software physics understand these areas. Look at, boom. As you can see, the area does not, this area does not go in the physics area. So you have to carefully choose the physics area with this tool going back to the zero we have two tools for strings it's for just layering how much the points that you want connected to the bone you can pervert you can refer to the previous lesson or here we have the bone strings you can change the strings so for example change these strings down and then look at the scene this part is just attaching uh, collide with this area and this area cloud with cloud uh, collide with this area of your physics strengths. Okay. Uh, I select this layer and bring it there. <laughs> Boom. Uh, I want to create another system for. So we can delete it. It's another system for our. Boom. Another thing that I forget to, to forgot to tell you is the um, animation um, bone notch physics. Actually, uh, bring a new layer, the new vector. The call it another ball. In that layer that it is here, we want to create a simple ball in it. Nice. This is a simple ball. Bring it there. And it's automatically done a physics to that. Boom, boom. Okay. And we transfer layer here. Boom. Okay. We want to add a notch in, in its middle. For example, notch, notch, notch it to the somber select your object go into the animation i want to explain it this notch physics object 
For doing that, you have to go to the physics and add the initial direction to that or with the initial number here. We activated that. You can do the animation. Good layer. Sorry for that. No, sorry for that. I forget that to tell you the notch is uh, somewhere in the middle of the animation. Okay. You have to play the animation. Oh, what is happening here? It's sitting in the physics. Oh, it's the start has slipped. Sorry for that. It's a uh, K framing. And in, in somewhere in its position, somewhere in its pass, you can add a notch to that. So for uh, going, if you go to the animation and a notch, you have to be in, a f uh, in some frame except zero. Animation and now the notch of physics will be turned on. Turn on. It's like the uh, force. It's forcing an object in the direction that you want. For example, in this direction, amount of very amount. You can notch it. You can uh, trigger an object in its path. And as you can see, it's K-framing here. K-frame and notch. Physics notch. Tells you physics notch. And then, that's what happened. Boom! As you can see, in its, in its way, it's changed its position because of the notch. For example, from here, notch is active and change its direction and hit that part of our physics. Okay, this is all about the notch. I forget. I forgot to tell you in the previous lesson, but I explained it. It's, it's turned on because you have to be in somewhere in frames, not in. Uh, you can turn it. You can turn on or off in direction and animate it. It's, as you can see, you can, for example, notch in this amount. As you can see, it's K framing. You can change the K frame there and plate. Just one play to record, and it changes direction. So this is all about the physics and not. Okay, uh, I want to create a, um, a simple, another, boom. For doing that, I create uh, some vector, vector number one, and bring the layer here. I want to create a mechanical, mechanical, rig for example this is layer number two and three of them we copy three of them this is another layer and another layer and we want to add a bone layer binding layer to each other you learn it before we have to select all of them add them to the one group and uh, change the group to the bone it's automatically because it's under the layer, it's automatically uh, because we, we have assigned a bone, but we didn't assign it. It does not calculate in the physics, so you have to create a bone for that. We come here and add a bone, click and drag, really. Click and drag. It does not important that you're connecting. You can just cl click and drag and bone. And we create a simple bone and it uh, acts like before okay it's because <clears throat> it's binding to the point we want to bind it to the layer you learn it for example in this layer we select the bind layer we want to add this layer select another layer we bond to the this select another layer we want to the this bone to the that layer and everything is done we can select that bone bring it there oops Bring it there, bring the notch in its settings. As you can see, we have lots of strengths for our physics. It's nice for this, it's nice. It's a physics co co collision area, it's a co collide area. And then play, Pew. nice. We have the animation, something like this. Okay, you can see it here. This is another way of the bones, mechanical bones. As you can see, they are connecting, they are colliding with their um, physics area that you have to turn it on in a zero. Turn it on in a zero, they, they come back in the bone physics here. The zero and the final timeline in Moho is very important. And now, as you can see, we have mechanical physics interesting there.
And because of we collide the bones, they are not collide to each other. That we will fix that later. Nice. This is another way of the physics. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.